This is Twit. So uh, there is, there has been, uh, boy, I don't know if I have the date where it began, where it was first seen, but mm, like a year, an ongoing, I, I've, I've seen references to it as I've, you know, been dipping around the security world, but nothing really, it didn't really come up to the level of needing to say something because there wasn't anything definitive. It's been a DNS hijacking campaign, which has sort of been in the background. It, it isn't widespread. It's targeted, um, but it's interesting. Uh, what got it onto my radar was where I saw how the U.S. had reacted to U.S. certs warning about it, finally warning about it last week. So we have the National Cyber Security and Communications Integration Center, the NCCIC, which is part of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, the CISA, uh, which is aware of a global domain name system, DNS, as it's only we have acronym soup here, yeah. infrastructure hijacking campaign using compromised credentials. And, and that's the key, like how they get in using compromised credentials. An attacker can modify the location to which an organization's domain name resources resolve. In other words, they like they hack into your DNS provider, which is why, for example, I use Hover and Hover uses an authenticator and, you know, as annoying as it sometimes is to go, oh, okay, fine, you know, and put in the six digit oh, code. That's I only that. good. Oh. I, I, you bet you it's like, this is probably more than anywhere else. Well, I last pass does it. Hover does it. Uh, you know, I have Gmail, a Google, if you know. you, whatever your email yeah. provider, that's the other one. Yeah. But yeah. Those are the yeah. big three, aren't they? Your, yeah. So yeah. there are places where it's like, yes, this is annoying, but it's better, you know, it, it creates a dynamic code that uh, that makes it much more difficult to to hack. Anyway, so, but there are lots of DNS providers who don't do that, uh, don't offer that. Uh, you know, for example, uh, Network Solutions, eh, no. So, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Among other reasons. <laughs> the only, the o yeah, well, exactly. The only, I think I have like one, maybe two domains there still I, I completely moved off of them where I was from, you know, day one uh, over to Hover. Um, but the only ones that are there are the ones that only they provide. I, I have, uh, a, you know, just like I just can't get them anywhere else. Yeah. So it's like rah, 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 rah. so um, so using by compromising someone's DNS login, the attacker points their DNS, their authoritative real DNS to a different IP away from their servers, typically to where they've got sp a spoofed website already set up in advance. So this, of course, enables the attacker to redirect all of the traffic subject to the, the global DNS caches expiring as they will over the course of, oh, you know, depending upon how long they, the records have been allowed to be cached uh, for, you know, maybe eight hours, maybe 24, but traffic immediately begins to flow. I've seen that myself because back when G GRC was having to change its IP in order to avoid long-term persistent DDoS attacks, I would, we would change the IP and then be like, nobody there. It's like, okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we're here then of course change the dns record and then gradually over the course of some number of hours the traffic would begin to pick up as people were like oh we don't know where grc was but they're back and it's like well actually no you kept trying to go to the old ip because we changed to a different one and your dns only now caught up as a consequence of the fact that dns is caching so Anyway, so this is bad. You don't you don't want your DNS to get hijacked um, for many reasons. So, but this is this is one of the things that's been going on. It allows the attacker to redirect the the traffic that would normally go to the uh, to the true servers to an attacker controlled infrastructure. And what's interesting, 
to obtain valid encryption certificates for an organization's domain names, which then enables man-in-the-middle attacks. 